Uh, Michael. Good afternoon, okay. everybody. I am here. This is Michael Filigura. I am here today with my colleague, Sasha Goring. Now, you've heard of me speak about him, and he's also done a couple of things together with me. Um, but today, we are together. We are going to be extending our summer promo for our trade room. And just so that everybody knows, we are extending it through September the 16th. And the reason being is that we wanted to come on and present a video that gave a better description than me saying during my updates that I put on YouTube that, oh, yeah, we're starting this trade room together with my colleague Sasha, and, I, you know, it's really great, et cetera, et cetera. So now we're just going to have a conversation between Sasha and myself, and you should be able to see both of our screens right now, uh, at least on my screen, what I'm seeing is Sasha's but I can go over to mine and then you can see my screen. So we'll be able to go through and talk about different things as they are, as we discuss them. So Sasha, hi. Hi, Michael. So hey. um, where shall we start? I mean, we, we both enjoy doing what we do. Uh, we really do love, we love trading. And, yes. um, and doing analysis. So yes. we decided to join together and do this trade room uh, because we really enjoy trading together. And exactly. we, we do enjoy talking about our Elliott Wave counts, et cetera, et cetera. And so just a little bit of background on how Sasha and I actually got together. Um, I think it had to have been a year and a half, maybe even two years ago, Sasha, by now. Um, Nearly two years, Michael. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Sasha uh, signed up for coaching with me. And during that coaching, we we went over Elliott Wave, we went over Fibonacci, we went over some different things, and then also uh, just worked together on getting additional funding, all the good stuff that we do for many traders that are coming in. But I want to say at this point, and first of all, it's a compliment to Sasha, that Sasha picked up Elliott Wave quicker and faster and better than many, many students that I've had before. And so much so that I kept saying, Sasha, you need to come in and start talking about this stuff. This is really good. And and so we started the trade room. And, um, and Sasha has continued to build on that knowledge. Uh, and so I'm just going to ask Sasha, what what excites you about what we're doing or, or how we're doing it? Yes, so how we're doing it is like, also first of all, thanks for your words, Michael. And um, from my side, I can tell that um, I did trade before a lot, but not the markets I trade now. And um, this Elliot content we both work together on did improve my Elliot work, of course. And I think we both help each other a lot in this case. And also our future, what we are doing in the trade room, which in my view is a very personal trade room for the for the clients, um, is a trade room. We want to help the people trade being successful in the content they are trading. And um, yeah, we're both using in basic Elliott Wave, but um, we both have a different trading style. Like I am trading a lot, lot of technical content technical indicators I'm using. I'm also writing besides my trading um, job. Um, exactly. And we are in our Discord server. We have a trade room. We both share our screens. We are going through the analysis from the before the start of the, of the regular US session. So that means Michael brings up his trading screen um, and also the analysis screen. He goes through his, through his count. And then we break it down to the 50 minute chart to prepare our clients um, in the in the trading room for the day for us or to be successful in day trading because that's what we both do and i have to say michael is very good in elliott wave very very nice and i learned a lot from him and um, i do my part regarding the trade room with a lot of different and other trading style you know 
Um, yes. Michael can you, is can very, you explain very, some of that for us? Can you, or just yes, sure, don't, sure. don't need to go into detail because that's what we do in the trade room. So yes, sure, sure. So the company what, secrets. What, but just some so, of those wonderful things that you have brought in and you yes. share with us that make us unique. Yes. So um, first of all, there are a lot of indicators in this world and also some which I've written and which I'm using also. Um, it depends on your trading style, which is the best indicator for you, for your personal trading to use. So first of all, that's in focus and on the first line is your personal trading style as our client um, in the trade room. And therefore we go through, If you so if you want that, we go through a lot of stuff that the world and we or I offer for helping your indicators setting up the right way you should, you can use them. So first of all, very important for me is trading order blocks. So order blocks is a, is a big area where orders are sitting in positive or negative areas. And when we break several levels and you're breaking the blocks, it's called you get an order a breaker block. And when you have a breaker block, normally you trade them like to the right direction. Even if you break to the downside or the upside, you can trade them very, very nicely. Um, the, the other part is um, that we are trading both a lot with FIPS, so Fibonacci levels in our trading, in our day trading of the 50 minute chart we are using for doing our analysis and then compile, or I don't know the real word in English, but um, use these indicators or use these levels to put them on our two or three minute trading screen. So we use, this, we use the levels and in between, we have a lot and the very big content is candlestick trading, you know, and you can read a lot of these candles. You can, you, you see what the candles are doing. Um, you, you know how they behave, you learn how to, how they behave and you can make the profit out of this. And this is like going from the 50 minute chart. We actually, you actually see, we bring that on our trading screen on the two or three minute chart and then trading off of it. Right. And the benefits of this is like, you get a good roadmap for the day from us, which in my view is a, is, is working out very, very nicely. Um, so I have confirmation from our actual clients and from also other people I know, and they say that we both do a great job in that. And I see also my, my, my own trading, which I use, of course, of my own analysis is working very nicely. And yeah, like the Fibonacci combined with Elliott, doing ICT trading, trading gaps. Um, that's also a very, very big part in markets when they build um, gaps. Um, they, the market tries to fill them. You know, when you have imbalances, um, stacked imbalances or whatever imbalance you have there, you can trade that very nicely. But if you don't know that, how the market behaves and how the market trades, it's very hard to understand the movement of the markets. And that is what, what we provide, provide in our trading room to make your um, trading better or make it more successful, you know? And um, what also is a very, very big part is order flow in the market. So whenever you see market orders coming in, getting out or going short, going long, um, taking stuffs or whatever the, 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 is happening in the market, we try to analyze that and give these levels to you. And again, to the big content why we are doing this, of course, is our work, but also to help the people getting successful. And I think this is what we both do a great job in. And yeah, Michael, that's it from my side. I, um, I yeah. agree. I, but I think it's like also I just want to add that reading the candlesticks is important, but it and but yes. it's an important add particularly when you're day trading, which is what we're doing. And even if you're swing trading, there are signals that the market will give and, and we, we're, we're observing them. And so what really kind of comes into play is when we notice the pattern, when we notice yeah. a bottoming pattern or we notice a topping pattern and we're noticing it on our short-term charts. Right now, Sasha's showing a one-hour chart. But if we really kind of go, we can show a 15 minute chart. It changes oh, the whole picture yeah. of how and what you want to do as there you can see. And so, and what Sasha made reference to about the order blocks, those are really important. And there, some firms call them order blocks. 
and we might call them it's like if somebody uses um oh my god i can't think about it any names kind of elude me now folks that's because i'm getting older um but it's just a matter of knowing what's sitting there so in other words mm -hmm. it's like we don't know necessarily but we can see that they get stacked and often what that then becomes folks and this is what we talk about it becomes a magnet because we have to understand that everything is algorithmic all the markets are controlled and ruled by algorithms and there's a many different variations of which algorithm algorithms are operating at what time and so they each got yes. their signals and they fire off at different times so when you've got a bunch of stacked orders and Sasha is able to show them on his chart, well, then we're, they act as a magnet and algorithms will start firing and they're going to go right down to those orders. And there's various reasons, but we're not really caring about why they're going down there. Did they suddenly turn bullish or bearish? It's like, no, it's just that's what they're doing and they trigger those orders. Now, another thing that I bring in is a lot of information on call walls, put walls, volatility triggers. And because what I've added into my own analysis is just what I call the flows. And you hear me talk about these if you're, if you're uh, a subscriber to the um, YouTube channels that I have. And, and what I'm talking about are the flows, the capital flows, the money moving in and out of the market, moving in and out of the various instruments in the market. I talk about the options flows. Those are very, very important. And then I talk about the gamma flows. And gamma, in terms of, yes, what, what the Greek, when you, if you trade options, you understand what these Greeks mean. And it has to do with that. But there are gamma levels, and they have been devised, and they're followed, and they're, and they're very meaningful in trading when these levels get broken and as to what. So, for example, a call wall or a put wall. Those, a put wall is going to be a support line. A call wall, which is going to be usually above the market, is going to be a resistance. And when that breaks, what does that suggest? Not that suddenly, okay, it's like, oh, it's a breakout. But what is happening as it's breaking out? What's changing? And it's like all of that short there now is going to get shorter if the market breaks and goes strongly above that level. Be and why? Yes. Because adjusting is now going to become necessary. So those different things we add and we bring into the trade room. And those get updated every day. And as I've discussed previously, this is more detailed data. And and um, and we've made it just, just like the order blocks and the things that Sasha is doing and the different levels that Sasha will be including on here. And those are all just only for our trade room. So this is the data that we're giving in the trade room and continuing to update during the day, during our trading yes. time. And so we go over building trading rules. We go over mindset, um, not so time and so often in great detail, but as it pertains to what we're doing right at that moment, as it pertains to some of the emotions that might come out from our members of our trade room so that we can deal with it right now. So we continue to really consider ourselves educational, but also traders. And so, but we're trying to educate traders so that they can come and become successful. Many, many traders read about and hear about all of these great successes that people are having trading. And one other thing that we've added that we do help a lot of people, they want to come and they want to trade, but they don't necessarily don't have an account large enough to actually do it. So we help people through uh, helping them set themselves up with firms such as Apex or Bolinox or Top Step Trader or other ones. Right now, we're primarily focused with Apex and Bolinox. But within them, you get what they call an evaluation account. And the hope is to pass that evaluation and receive a funded account or a performance account. And then we also work with them about, there's a whole different set of emotions that come with each one. And how oh, yeah. do we then deal with those? And what do we do? And, and how do we really focus on our risk? Because that's really the trick. The trick is to manage your risk. We work on that in the trade room. So there's all these things that we're offering. And 
I, I just find it to be extremely valuable information. And I, I just want to say, and I, I, there's nothing that Sasha doesn't already know because I talk about him all the time. Um, I find that the information that Sasha is sharing during our trade room, like, for example, just because we're looking at his chart during this recording, you can see if we come down, it broke below a FIB level, 1.6, right there, Sasha, the 19,000, yeah. uh, 19,100, broke below. Yeah. That was a major level. Yeah. That was a major level. And guess where it went down to? Went down to right a, a bunch of sitting orders. And it's just kind of hanging out there. Now, yeah. what's happening today and you'll find out if you come and you catch my update later today. It's um, it's um, I keep talking about that. The direction's going, the market's going to let us know, and that's something else that both Sasha and I really adhere to. We don't make up the the, the direction. I can't, you know, like we send a letter to the Nasdaq and say, "Please send it out to all your traders." This is what the the plan is for today. Mm -hmm. Um, so we both rely on, and we understand we don't decide. They decide what we do is exactly. interpret the, we interpret the move and when things start to break down, we yes. then give additional information from our own experiences. Plus what we know about at this level breaks, what does that mean? Exactly. And my, Go ahead. Michael, one thing to add there, maybe if I can interrupt you there, of course, it's, um, it's like, you know, it's trading is, 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 is a thing of probabilities in my, life, okay. Amen. So yeah. we having, different counts or possible Elliott counts in our in our mind. Of course, we have them. If you don't have them, you're not well prepared for the market. And therefore we have like, for example, today here, we had, I think the start, the beginning, where was it? Yeah, here around 15. Yeah, this is in German time. Don't worry, I'm in Germany here. So here was the, the opening. And, you know, and when, for example, we can re resume um, the, the trade room opening from today. So we went through our analysis. We're finding patterns, and um, what we do, what we say is possibly when we break this this rising parallel channel to the downside, because these channels they nearly often or ninety percent break to the downside. Okay, and for example, when that happens, I said before, um, be careful in the in the in this channel. It, they can flip and uh, fly around inside here, but eventually, when the break comes, we had the next bigger wedge forming here okay that was the next support area and when we broke that yeah. eventually also this low you know you know that the market going to thrust down and you see the volume increased in this area and these are these are things we are taking care of and, and shout out in the in the trade room uh, to help you take the trades to be successful in that and there's a lot that can happen inside here you see the discount pd areas the the pd areas on the move you know that's also the last last area for the market to a bit of support also when you take out the previous swing low here in this area, okay yeah and that was also the signal to be short and um, yeah it was a great trading day today and this is what you get when this these informations you you get from us when when you join our trade room for example you be in the trade room you have a lot of benefits of it and right. what i can only say is that again and I, I repeat myself i think we're doing a great great job and um yeah, that's all I can add for and now. I actually think, and I, Sasha, I actually think it's okay to pat us both on the back, just like you said. I, I do. I also agree. I think we're doing a great job. Now, mm -hmm. having said that, folks, our trade room is not necessarily for everybody, and so on that basis, what we're offering is a promo price, and again, it's good for the first month of being in the trade room. The other thing that we do is we tend to not have auto billing. So I prefer to like people can come in, they try us for a month, they decide, is this for them? Is this not for them? Again, we're focused on day trading. But if you're a swing trader, it's a lot of people swing trade for the day, but a lot of people like to carry position overnight. That's fine. We're trying to just blend and talk and provide information for every style of trading. So that people can come in and do that, which is why I've added a lot of the information that goes along with the flows, the capital flows, the option flows, the gamma flows. And once they start to break and you see in conjunction with the and other things that Sasha will be talking about, 
you know, during the trade room, this level, that level, they seem to many times fall in line with major levels that if that are more pertaining to options trading. And so when we start to see those break, and what does that mean when this level breaks? Or what does it mean when a large gamma position gets broken? And yeah. it reflect it's reflected in the futures market as well. It's reflected yeah. in the Qs. It's reflected in the spiders. It's reflected in IWM and across the board. So we can broaden our, our base. But in for our hour and a half that we trade because we 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 open at 6 6 a.m pacific daylight time and we're done uh at 8 a.m so but let me just share with you within that hour and a half basically because the market opens at 6 30 a.m pacific um we have people that first of all let me just say each one of us we we, we try to teach people have a goal have a goal that you want to make on that particular day and then adjust your risk profile to fit. If that's all you're looking to make, make sure that your risk profile is, is in line with what your goal is. So, but we, we have now talked and teach and taught people that once you meet your goal, you make your goal, there always is that voice that will say, Oh, keep trading, keep trading. And so many times people, they keep trading that they get back what they made and then they're down on the day and it becomes very defeating. So we try to help people along by teaching them to say, hey, you made your goal, go do something else. Yeah, Take secure your, money, your profits. That's secure so your profits and go have a nice dinner. If you, Because we have many people that are in Europe and, or in other parts of the world. And I like that one, Michael. Say again? <laughs> I yeah. like that one with the dinner. <laughs> yeah, where you go have a nice dinner, you go have a nice lunch, or in my area of the world, at the time we're trading, go mm -hmm. have a nice breakfast. <laughs> so, and and trust me, we 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 just had a, a trade room member that was calling in from Melbourne or, Mel or Sydney, Australia. Yeah. And so he was really coming and, and during the night to be with us. And um, he decided, it's like, you know, it's, it's like, I'm getting a little bit too old and, and staying up all this late, et cetera, et cetera. But he really liked the information. And so we get people from all around the globe and that's great. It makes for a really kind of a, a, a fun trade room. Um, yeah. Right now though, we have to seem to have an equal balance between the United States and Europe. And, um, and because we are an open speaking room, uh, people get to share. And I think it's really great. So again, yeah. what we're offering is first month. We're and the normal rate for our trade room is two hundred ninety nine dollars a month. And here's what I normally say each day: I will attempt to make three hundred dollars every day. Why? Because that pays for the trade room. So if you're following my trades, if you're following Sasha's trades, you're going to make a whole lot more. Um, no, <laughs> I'm just saying. So. But anyway, my goal is to at least that. Now, today, in that first half hour, I actually made over a thousand dollars. But that's because the market was that the market was there. There are days when it's like that first that first half hour, maybe all you will get is three hundred if you're lucky. But point being is that we're there, we're trading, we're doing. And if you make your goal in that first half hour, go have a good, great day. Be exactly. be relaxed <clears throat> tomorrow. Keep doing it. Because remember, everybody's goal, a lot of people's goals, is that they want to make trading their source of income. And so we're helping people to develop the skills to do just that. So again, normal price, $2.99 a month. And trust me that... You know, if we have to expand and we're going to be putting more information in it, then that's kind of going to possibly increase. Now, but what we're offering right now is a promo price of $200 for your first month. Give you the opportunity, come in, check us out. We're not too expensive. And if you're trading and you're trading your own account and you make $200, you just paid for the room. The rest is just gravy, so to speak. 
So if you have an interest, www.tradershelpingtraders.com. Once you're there, you'll see what come up in front of you is a whole bunch of stuff about me and other things that I write and my posts and things of that nature. And then suddenly there'll be a trade room. Punch the trade room tab. It'll take you right to where you sign up. Once you do sign up, I turn you over to Sasha, who will verify you because we're on Discord, who will verify you within the Discord, our Discord server. And then you're all set. And then you kind of come in the room and you, most people are already members of Discord. So they kind of come in with these weird photos and weird names. Um, but that's all great. I love the collective. <laughs> I love the collective of of the personalities that that we bring in it, it's really it is fun it is fun um and that's about it is there anything else that you want to add sasha other than please join um, time? <laughs> no no of course please join uh it would be it's it's i tell you it's very very funny it's sometimes also it's but in positive funny we have a lot of fun there and of course uh, trading is in the first place and your success as well and um, what we also do offer, Michael, and maybe we can talk about that. We offer also coaching. And, uh, oh, correct. So Go ahead. You, you do that part. We offer coaching. Yeah, we offer coaching in detail, also belonging to your personal um, uh, trading skills. So what you want to learn, we offer that for you and we help you being successful. So if you think, or maybe if, you, if you're new to trading as well and you join the trade room and say, hey, that's a lot of content I don't really understand at the moment. That's fine because you're maybe new and you want to learn how to trade. We we are there for you and help you. And also, if you're an experienced trader, I think we can find also some content that make your skills even better. I I I don't think I know. I know we can do that. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, <laughs> we've done that. We've been doing that now, and for a while. And I want yeah. to say that Sasha and I have fun. Yes, we're having fun doing this together, and I'm hoping that that also goes out to whomever's there with us. Exactly. So, you know, some days we laugh, some days we express our frustration, and that's okay. And as and we have to allow our members. Now, again, if we suddenly get like this explosion, and there's going to be like 25, 50, or 100 people that decide oh, we we're going to come in and join, that would be fantastic. But we'll have to put it on chat only. I can't. I can't give more than twenty people the ability to just speak whenever they want to, because that would be really kind of noisy. So, but anyway, give it some thought. www.tradershelpingtraders.com or www.logicalsignals.com. Or one more, and I believe it takes you there, www.logicalsignalstrading.com. So have all these different avenues, all these different websites that will get you to the same place, the trade room tab. Uh, come in and join us. Give it a shot and take advantage of this promo. Um, Sasha, thank you for coming in at this hour. Thank you. Welcome. Because don't forget, folks, right now it's, it's 830 in the evening for Sasha. Thank you. It's lunchtime. No, not lunchtime. Dinner time. It's dinner time. <laughs> it's almost lunchtime for me because it's 1130 here in San Francisco. And Sasha's probably 4,500 miles away from where I live, all the yeah. way on the other side of the globe. And it's well dark. So Yeah, it's really dark. <laughs> we have fun. We extend this invitation. If you have any questions, folks, uh, you can contact me through the website. Um <clears throat> Or you can also drop me an email at michael at mjf, the number one, partners.com. And the reason why I say number one is because I'm the only one. So it's mjf1, <laughs> partners.com. And Sasha, thanks for coming in and putting this together. Thank because, you, Michael. Because they've asked for this. So I'm hoping that we're, we're putting it together in the manner of which the people that have asked Okay. Able to go. If not, they're going to let us know. So thanks. Hang up for one second. Okay. So now you should be able to, you should be able to open up your mic again. I, I shut. I think you're still recording, Michael. 
No. I no. shut it off. Oh. No. You're no, no, because I was still in the meeting. Oh, uh, uh, well. <laughs>